All right, we're gonna apply a lower leg bandage to a horse. The materials that we need are our dressing or sterile gauze, our roll gauze, brown gauze, vet wrap, and sheet cotton, or sometimes this will be called a cotton roll. The first thing you're gonna do is take your dressing or sterile uh, gauze and wrap it around the wound. Then you're gonna use your roll gauze to secure your bandage. You want to wrap your roll gauze so that it is secure but not tight. You do not want to restrict the blood flow to the leg. Make sure as you are wrapping your roll gauze that you are leaving even flat layers with no wrinkles and that your dressing underneath does not get wrinkled as well. Any wrinkles will cause pressure on the wound itself and the leg and can restrict blood flow. Once you have secured your dressing, you are going to use your sheet cotton, wrapping it around the leg. You'd want to avoid restricting the upper joint And you're going to apply this similar to you applying a quilt wrap for a standing bandage. You want to come around the front of the leg and make sure that it is even and equal pressure. Then you take your brown gauze and you will start at the top of your bandage about an inch from the top of the cotton and you will wrap across the bone front to back, again in equal wrinkle-free pressure layers. And again, you don't need to be pulling it tight. It needs to be snug so it doesn't slide, but it does not need to be tight and restrictive to the blood flow. And you are gonna wrap all the way down around the lower joint, but you do not wanna wrap below the sheet cotton. Then you are gonna wrap back up the leg in equal layers. And at the top, you will cut your brown gauze and you will tuck Tuck the very end into the top of the bandage, the brown gauze bandage, don't tuck it below the cotton. And it will sort of self stick to itself. Then you take your vet wrap. And again, starting at the top and wrapping around the front of the leg, you want to come above the brown gauze but below the top of the cotton. You want to stretch it about 50% and you want to only pull across the front of the leg, across the bone. We do not pull against the tendons. Okay, pull to about 50%. And the same as all the rest of the layers, we want to make sure that we are pulling across the front, that we are applying equal, even layers that are wrinkle-free, which is very difficult with vet wrap because it sticks to itself. And you're going to come all the way down the leg. And your layer should be about half width. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm leaving about half. Here you can see about half. So we're doing half width layers. My horse's leg is also broken, which is why it's rotating. All right. You come down around the, the bottom joint again, covering your brown gauze, but not covering your roll cotton. You want to leave the roll cotton exposed so that you don't choke that leg with your vet wrap. Because it can get very tight and, and restrictive on the skin. And then you are going to roll back up in the same way using half width layers, rolling a flat even pressure. Okay, and at the top, you will cut your bandage. And press it flat. If you are provided elasticon, you will use the elasticon around the top of the bandage from the skin over top of the cotton to keep any contaminants from going down into the bandage and securing the bandage to the leg. And you will use your elasticon around the base of the bandage to the hoof again to keep any contaminants coming up into the bandage and prevent the bandage from moving. If you are not provided elasticon, you will not perform that step. That is how you wrap a bandage on a lower leg of a horse.